Cole Wilson promoted this week after the kicking troubles last Saturday in Lawrence. So he will handle kickoffs and place kicks today. Javier Arenas and Terry Grant back deep for the Crimson Tide. Arenas, a yard deep, will bring it out. Dodges one man. Gets across the 25-yard line, brought down at the 27, near the 28-yard line. Daryl McNeil and Kevin Payne back deep for the Warhawks. Line drive kick. Takes an Alabama bounce. A big Alabama bounce. Comes to a rest inside the 20-yard line, giving 49 yards on that punt. But again, last week, he threw for 377, rushed for 30 more, 407 yards of offense for Lancaster. He'll complete the pass on first down. We'll check the Bama defense after this play. Second and four. Lancaster hit as he throws, trying to set up a little bubble screen on the outside. Out near the 30-yard line, completed, and very close to the first down. A very talented and versatile player, Simeon Castile, awaiting around the 25-yard line. And what a missile. Checks up, Castile fields it on a hop. Out across the 15-yard uh, line and belted down right at the 20. John Parker Wilson under center. To start this drive, hands it away to Kenneth Darby. Cuts it back up inside. Out across the 25-yard line. Gain of about five. Darby, the lone setback so far. Now McLean checks in there. Wilson wants to throw. Near side, complete to Keith Brown. Shoved out around the 34-yard line by Chaz Williams. But in the secondary, the very talented Kevin Payne, Thompson, Quintez, Seca. A late scratch from the starting lineup, actually. Darby on the first down run out across the 45 near the 47-yard line. But the more carries he gets, the better shape he'll get in. Delay give to Darby. Slams across midfield down near the 48-yard line. That is unheard of in Alabama history. Wilson, short drop, swings it out far side to Brown. Defender slipped down. Brown cuts it back, ridden out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Josh Thompson recovered nicely. Wilson swings it out near side. LaRon McLean inside the 10, inside the 5, and a touchdown. Some shifty moves by LaRon McLean. Sixty-three yard punt his last time. This one much shorter. Checks up. And we'll be down by the Warhawks right at the 30-yard line by Joe Merritt. McNeil and Payne back deep. For Louisiana Monroe. Fitzgerald bangs that one away. Good coverage kick. Fair catch made by Kevin Payne. Joe Merritt, the intended receiver. Robinson had it hit him in the hands. But punting time for Monroe. Payne bangs it away. Castile at his 35. Will return it across the 40. And leveled at the 42. Bama going with two tight ends on the opening snap of this possession. Bootleg for Wilson. Over the middle. Wide open to the tight end. Travis McCall. Filled right around the 35-yard line. Second grab of the year for McCall and a big first down for the Tide at the Warhawks 36. Another pass to McLean, cutting it up again. Bouncing off tacklers, fumbles the football, and I believe the Warhawks have it, and they do. Third fumble lost by Alabama this year. Lancaster will keep it. He fumbles the football, but are they going to mark him down? The officials just kind of standing around looking at one another. Alabama lobbying, and they'll say it's Bama football. Charlie Weatherby disagrees. What happens when your director's not from Knoxville, I think? <laughs> Bama's got the ball back. Roy Upchurch into the game. His first rush. 
Takes it inside the 20 yard line. So Roy Upchurch, the red shirt freshman. SEC special teams player of the week after he hit a 47 yarder career long, proving to be the game winner last week against Vanderbilt. 34 yard kick on the way and good once again. Lancaster under center to start this drive. Deals it away to Dawson. Over the left side with some running room. Darts out across the 30-yard line to the 32. Out. He stays in there behind Lancaster. Option pitch to Dawson over the right side. Slipping tackles out across the 40 to the 43-yard line. A gain of 11 before Prince Hall can wrap him up. Second down and nine. Leave it with Dawson, who slips another couple of tackles. Races inside the Alabama 40 to the 36-yard line. They need to take it to the tie 27. Give to Dawson. Fighting his way very close to the first down marker. Simeon Castile wrapped him up. Dawson, the motion man, takes the handoff. Over the right side, slips another tackle. Ridden down near the 10-yard line by Marcus Carter. Lancaster, shuffle pass to Dawson. Spins inside the five before Chris Harris can wrap him up. Third and one. Red Hawks have been very good in the red zone, and they will pad those stats a little more. Lancaster keeps it and finds the end zone. Again, a lot of folks wondering about the arm strength of John Parker Wilson. Following Brody Coral, he, he has answered most of those questions already. Lobs that one for Brown in stride, and then he trips over the 35-yard line. Pitch it to Darby. The reverse to Brown with blockers. Down the sideline, he steps out at the 12. John Parker Wilson out there trying to lend a helping hand. Two big plays have got him down here. Wilson with time, looking, looking. He'll run it. Out of bounds inside the 10. Steps out at the 8-yard line. Second and six from the 8. Darby cuts it up inside the 5, down to the 3-yard line. That'll leave him about a yard shy. Bama just one out of four, converting third downs. The jumbo package in there. Tim Castile follows his blockers and scores. No fumble that time for number 19. Christensen. Puts his leg into it, a little shorter this time, around the six-yard line. They'll throw back to Payne, runs right into trouble, and he's upended right around the 12-yard line. Kevin Payne will boot it away. Arenas plays it on a hop. Reverses field. And finally spilled at the 46-yard line. Darby, the single setback. Wilson to throw over the middle, wide open. McCall, the tight end, once more. Down to the 27-yard line, number 28, Josh Thompson for ULM. Makes the stop. Six out of seven on the year. Long of 47 last week. They have hit that one a little fat, comes up short. Tough situation. He thought he was going to go out and try about a 40-yard field goal. Tide got sacked, turned into a 47-yarder. Knocked it through, proved to be the winner. Dawson starts this drive. With the carry, Prince Hall brings him down. Give it to the youngster once again. Gets a good block. Spins away from a tackler out across the 40. Two and a half minutes to play. In the opening half. High snap from the shotgun. Lancaster 
will fall on it. Back around the 22-yard line. Shovel pass to Dawson. Out to the 37-yard line, Terrence Jones and Marcel Stamps. They'll drop back into coverage and another missile by Kevin Payne that will sail all the way into the end zone. Tide will play it safe. Give it away to Darby who really takes a shot at the 25-yard line by Chaz Williams. And the Crimson Tide will probably not snap it again unless the Warhawks just make them. You run a draw, you hope something big happens. It might set yourself up for another down. If not, you take it into the locker room. And that will do it. End of the second quarter. A lot of non-conference games early in the season, of course, are going to be pay-per-view played at 6 o'clock in the evening. Jamie Christensen sends that one high and deep to Payne in the end zone. Brought down shy of the 15-yard line. See if Kevin Payne can hit another 63-yard punt. He's got two of them so far tonight. Low wobbly kick this time. Arenas makes one man miss. Can't elude the other two white shirts. He does take it across midfield, wrapped up by Austin Willis. First snap of the second half. Play fake, bootleg, completes it to Brown. Out of bounds, right near a first down. Cartier Jackson and Josh Thompson. Give it to Castillo. He'll have the first down. Off the war half, the Warhawks perhaps a little by surprise. Castile checks in as the deep man. Four minutes into the second half. Straight ahead, Darby. Able to leap over. One man on the turf. And he will pick up about five yards. There's something missing here. <laughs> Not accustomed to it. There's Darby. Cutting outside, moving the chains. A first down at the 14-yard line. He will tuck it and run to the 10. Out of bounds near the five-yard line. Give it to Darby. Over the left side, he will cut it up and be very close to the first down where they spot him. I think he'll have it. Darby, the lone setback. Whistles. Flags. Before the snap, false start. Number 61, offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Diffin, one out of two tonight, kicking field goals. 25 yarder here. Right down the middle. And they'll tack on three more for the Crimson Tide. First down for the Warhawks, starting at their own 20. Play action, bootleg, Lancaster makes one man miss, races out across the 25-yard line, ridden down by Jeffrey Duke. Second and three as the Warhawks spread it out. Give to Dawson on the end around. He will have the first down out to the 34-yard line. helping hand. Lancaster guns that one complete over the middle. First down across midfield. More than enough for the first down. Zeke Zachary on the slant. We know Kevin Payne can kick it a mile. Can he pin Alabama deep here? Wobbly kick. Arenas from the 14. No fair catch. Trying to turn the corner. <laughs> Out near the 20 yard line. I tell you what. Man has played nine different offensive linemen already this year. Good protection for Wilson. Short dump off to Darby with a little stiff arm and out to the 35 for a first down. Once again, Darby straight ahead. Explodes out across midfield. 
carrying a tackler to the 45. Darby back in there. Throw to the near side. DJ Hall on the screen pass. Gets a great block, and he is gone. Touchdown, Alabama. Andre Smith, the true freshman. The second week in a row we've seen him get out there and lead the way on that screen pass. They need the 30-yard line. Give it to Dawson. Cuts it back. Leans forward, but he's going to be about a yard shy, I believe. They'll spot him at the 29. Fourth and one, and the Warhawks will go for it. Lancaster keeps it, fighting. I don't know. Driven back, and he didn't get it. The Alabama defense steps up, drives Lancaster back, and the gamble fails for Charlie Weatherby. Mike Shula trying to get some other guys some playing time tonight. That's good to see. Up Church. Over the right side. Lowers his shoulder. Barrels down to the 22-yard line. Picks up seven. Third and three. The give to Up Church again. Stiff arming. Has the first down. Tiptoeing down the sideline. They'll say he stepped out at the 16, but that is more than enough for the Alabama first down. Delay give to Upchurch, straight ahead. He'll power it down to the 10-yard line, ripping off about six yards. Upchurch one more time as the first down. As Kyle moves down to the five-yard line. Gillen gives to Upchurch, straight ahead, touchdown. Lancaster rifles that one intercepted. Jeffrey Dukes picks it off for the tie. Inside the 40-yard line. Fifth interception of the season for the Alabama defense. So Bama's got it back inside the 40. Gillen wants to throw. Completes it to Will Oakley. Very close and should have a first down. Terry Grant. Checks into the game. Dotting the eye behind Mark Gillen. There is Grant. Over the left side. Explodes. Inside the 10. Gillen to throw. Near side. It is caught by Nikita Stover. Down to the four-yard line. Third and goal inside the two. Up church, dots the eye, gets the handoff, tiptoes, lunges, and scores. Second touchdown for Roy Upchurch. What breeze there is is at his back. Down there, very nearly blocked it. Arenas runs away from it, and it'll be down around the 35-yard line. Gives it away to Ali Sharif. Throwing a lot of first-time names here tonight in the preseason work. And really never recovered from that. Sharif right up the gut. Runners down to the 34-yard line of Louisiana Monroe. Sharif alone sent back. Takes that handoff. Over the right side. Not much running room. And a very late flag comes in. Barnes takes another knee, and that will likely do it. So the Crimson Tide will go to 3-0 on the year. A 41-7 win over Louisiana Monroe. The Warhawks fall to 1-2 on the year. Mike Shula, Charlie Weatherby. Meet near midfield. That's the end of the game. The final 
And nice for the Crimson Tide to, I won't say relax in the fourth quarter, but certainly taking advantage of the lead, getting a lot of players out there, a lot of first-time guys. And another solid night from John Parker Wilson. Absolutely. He just continues to play with confidence, doing a great job, not making mistakes, not getting his team beat. And I think that's been very important these first three games, uh, more so the last two than tonight. But he's done an outstanding job thus far in the season.